Hi everyone, Bad Nomad here to show you a new extension I've made called Interactive Portraits. So this will give you a bunch of new options for the portraits on the Fantasy Grounds application. So let me show you what's going on with this. So I have on the left the DM view and on the right we have the player view. So first thing you're going to notice is the new options that are both independent for the, uh, the DM and the player, each player individually. And if you scroll down, you'll see Mad Nomad portrait options. So you can change the size of the portraits. So if you've got a large monitor like I do, you make them a little bigger, you know, have more uh, visual appeal to it. You can also choose to show health on the portraits and show icons in the portraits, which I'm going to show you in a second. As you can see over here, the players can have independent size choices as well. So everyone, depending on their monitor, can choose the right size. Now, if we go to the combat tracker, there's a couple other things here with the effects. So let me drag uh, Petrified onto Dritz. Let me drag Restrained. Let's see Stable and Joe. You can see as I drag the effects, they show up on the character sheet, uh, portraits up here in the top, so everybody can see those. Now, also, let's say it takes start taking some damage. Health bars start to show up. As you get hit, or as you heal, effectively, the health bar will update for all to see. It applies on both the player and the DM view. Now, another interesting thing is, let's say you have some um, effects set up, like this player wants to rage, right? They hit the rage effect, the portrait changes automatically for them to their raging portrait if they've set it up. Same thing with hiding. Um, they can, this can work with anything, basically anything that has a tag before the little apostrophe there, or the whatever, semicolon. Same thing with uh, wild shape. It can be set up the right portrait file for that. Uh, let's say let's look at this other character, Joe. Let's say he's got um, he's using one click druid, and I made a minor edit to add lion to the end of the wild shape. Hit effect, and it automatically changes his picture when he does a wild shape. So as you can see, a lot of different cool things you can do with the portraits. It automates it all for you. Uh, I'm really excited about some of these effects. And I hope you guys enjoy this mod. Uh, I'll make a separate video that explains the details of how to set this thing up because there's a little bit of work to set it up um, to make it work smoothly.